The Tobago Business Chamber would like to offer its congratulations to the government and the newly sworn in ministers of the government and also the newly sworn in senators. We had hoped that the Prime Minister would have used this occasion to make a bold initiative by appointing someone such as possibly a Minister for Tobago Enterprise Development because we have lamented for far too long about the lack of proper enterprise development in Tobago. And unfortunately, despite the best efforts of the Tobago House of Assembly, thus far, we can see very little fruit to bear from their efforts. So we think that the Prime Minister ought to still consider and given the upcoming THA elections, I think it's something that he ought to give consideration to, appointing a Minister of Tobago Enterprise Development. And we would want that minister to be stationed in Tobago. That way, the minister could then liaise with all relevant parties and ensure that there is an independent approach to the enterprise development that Tobago needs. We have raised several outstanding issues in the past and most of them remain issues that are unresolved. First of all, we have called repeatedly for the land license regime in the Foreign Investment Act to be completely repealed. We have asked for that because we have said that that would be the first effort to give an immediate boost and fill up to direct foreign investment in Tobago. That has not yet happened. So therefore, if you have a minister for Tobago Enterprise Development, that could be one of the bills that this minister can take to the cabinet. We have asked also for there to be a guaranteed minimum 25% local con contractor input in all major projects in Tobago. We have heard nothing in response to that because we are saying that our local contractors in Tobago need to be involved. They need to learn. There needs to be that knowledge transfer and the training and skills development that goes along with that so therefore they can gradually be able to have that confidence, knowledge and ability to begin to take on bigger and bigger projects. But if you never get them involved and if you keep giving it to the mega contractors from Trinidad or elsewhere, then our local contractors and our local people will never get the benefit of it. There will be no trickle down effect. So. That's something we've spoken about. So that would relate to even the airport expansion project, the marina project, and all the other major projects that are scheduled or carded for Tobago. So we're saying that you must have one point person, and that would have been ideally if we would have seen a minister for Tobago Enterprise Development who could then now take the lead in piloting these bills before the cabinet. Too often in the past, we've heard our members and other persons in Tobago complain that the two Tobago representatives do not appear to be championing the cause of Tobago enough. And it may very well be due to their other ministerial responsibilities because their ministerial portfolios are not directly Tobago-related portfolios. So therefore, they have other duties and responsibilities to the wider Trinidad and Tobago society. So therefore, it does not appear that Tobago is getting that kind of attention. So the Tobago Business Chamber again calls upon the Prime Minister to see what can be done. It's not too late. Further appointments can be made and he can rectify the situation by appointing a Minister for Tobago Enterprise Development. Thank you.